Anthony here for D News, here being very subjective. See, we can never truly be sure that our universe is real or if we're just part of some elaborate computer simulation. Seriously. Well, not yet. Some researchers at the University of Washington say we might be able to answer that question once and for all very soon. So the idea that our whole reality is an illusion goes all the way back to Hindu and Buddhist philosophy. Now, the idea of that illusion being the work of a computer was popularized for most people by The Matrix, even though The 13th Floor was a better movie. Sorry, not sorry. The current form of this theory is called the simulation hypothesis, and it was laid out by Nick Bostrom in a paper in 2003. It basically says that any advanced civilization is going to have massive computer power, and they will use that computer to run something called an ancestor simulation to see how the universe works. Just a working model of the entire of reality right inside a computer to see where they came from. Now, the University of Washington says that even though we're years off from making a simulated universe of our own, we can actually run tests to prove whether our universe is a simulation or not. I'm just gonna point out right now that the state of Washington also legalized marijuana last week. Just, I'm just saying. Right now, supercomputers can only realistically simulate an area about the size of a nucleus of an atom. Eventually, that'll improve, like maybe soon we'll do a whole atom, then a molecule, then a leaf, and on and on. As we're making our own simulations bigger and bigger, we're hitting up against resource constraints, right? Limits in our computing power. So say we have enough room to simulate six cubic inches of universe. The whole thing is a box, right? And in this box, we are simulating all of the known forces of the universe, gravity and light and cosmic rays. And eventually those forces are gonna bounce up against the edge of the box. And when they do that, they're going to behave strangely and break their own rules. So what we do is we watch what happens, then we check up in our own universe for the same glitches in the same forces. And if we find them, we're in a simulation similar to that six inch one that we created. Say what? Yeah. So there are already a lot of strange things going on in physics that we don't understand. What if those are proof? What if those are weird little errors that show our creator needs a new video card or some more RAM or something? The whole thing is kind of crazy to wrap your head around. I'll throw a link to the UW findings and some of Bostrom's stuff in the description below. And what do you guys think? Is our reality a simulation? Are we like one power surge away from being wiped off of somebody's hard drive? I think it's a pretty good possibility, actually. Let me know what you think down below and subscribe for more D News updates.